fellow gardeners. Welcome to Garden with Jenny. I'm Jenny. Um, again, I still have not figured out how to um, do the whole switch of the roof camera thing. So I'll just turn it around for a minute. Hi! That way you can see me for a second. Um, thanks for coming in to watch my video. Um, new additions to houseplants. Um, I got two today, which um, are herbs actually. And then last time I showed you my Easter stuff, so my bunny and then these little Easter egg succulents. Um, my parents came down to visit for Mother's Day, so she got me some hummingbird stuff that I haven't I haven't hung up yet in the yard. Um, I kind of want to try and do two videos today, but as you can see, I have Anakin. Anakin, hi buddy, sit. Good boy. Look at that pretty little doggy. Good boy. Good boy. Do you remember last time I tried filming with him home? He was like barking and barking and barking. And look at how quiet and patient and beautiful he is. Oh, I love you. Okay, back to the plants. So, um, I have had plant death this week. And it's my own fault because I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, I actually dried out my hydrangea that was in that cute little hydrangea bucket. Like, I burnt it to a crisp because I forgot to water it and I had the fan on. Um, I checked everything else but the hydrangea. I don't know how I missed the hydrangea, but I did, and now it's dead, and it is what it is. It happens. Plant neglect. I always said that I would start, like, a government-funded agency for plant neglect. And start charging people or putting them in jail for neglecting their plants. Crazy idea. I would go to jail. <laughs> I would go to jail because I killed that hydrangea plant. 100%. Honest, honestly. Okay. So we're going to start over here. So you can see the hydrangea plant is no longer here. Um, and I've kind of reworked this table. So my husband and I have this crazy addiction to buying these pop figures. Um, they're Star Wars. Mm. Night Before Christmas, Boy Meets World, Star Wars, and, um, what is that, what, uh, the, f the prequels to Harry Potter. That one's from Crimes of Grindelwald, I think. What is it called? Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast. Okay. Sorry. Anyways. Jack Skellington. Woo! I have such an obsession with this movie, it's not even funny. Okay, so, Anthurium is still struggling, but um, last time I think I showed you that it did have some new leaves coming out. There's a brand new spike right here, you can kind of see. Um, so that's a good sign that it's getting new leaves. Um, here's my mint plant that I just bought from the grocery store. It was kind of an impulse buy. Um, I know that it's a perennial. Anakin, do not eat that, thank you. Um, impulse buy. I was walking through the produce section, da, 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 da. I saw basil, I'm like, I don't really use basil that much, so there's no point in me having a basil plant. I don't really use mint that much, but it's a perennial, so I was like, hey, why not? And then, of course, the snake plant has this new new piece. Look at how nice this is. Isn't that cool how it, like, starts out this lighter color, and then as it gets older, it darkens up. Kind of neat. And then there's a new one in the center there. Um, so this window, Anakin, leave my plants alone, please. Anakin, come over here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. He wants attention. He's an attention hound. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, Bird of Paradise has a new spike on it, which is really exciting. I hope that it'll flower, because it's Sean's favorite, and I would really love to get it to flower. Um, orchid, this orchid finally has a new root tip coming out. Um, it's been a while since it's put anything out, um, so that was encouraging for me to see. I did buy a new sphagnum moss, so since it's not in flower... I may repot that in newer moss, because I almost wonder if this mix is staying too wet, or I ha maybe I have it too compacted in there, because their roots do like to dry down. Um, and then, this is Aunt Vi's Thanksgiving cactus. You can see all the brand new s segments that are this lighter green color, which is really um, awesome. For some reason, it's only on one side, though. 
like this side gets new segments and this side does not. But nothing's dying off, so that's a good sign for me. Um, this is my bunny. My Calancho has some death going on, probably because it's not getting necessarily the amount of light. But this looks, this all looks like new growth here for me. I gotta deadhead that um, and see how that does. And then um, the ivy looks really good. This is actually probably gonna need water today because I haven't watered that in a couple of days now, at least. Um, on the windowsill, so we still have my little succulent terrarium garden going on here. Just, just you can kind of see the roots here. They're, it's blurry because of the glass and stuff, but that little guy there, focus, camera, focus, it's not going to focus because it's focusing on that other leaf. Um, that little guy there, he's pushing out a good amount of roots. Um, and then there's some good roots in the bottom of this container you can't really see because there's some watermarks going on. But that's a good sign for those. In fact... The top portion of that of this far one could probably get snipped off and rerooted, but um, I kind of like what it's doing at the moment. Anakin's back by my side, looking at me. Mom, pay attention. What are you doing, Mom? Um, here's my thyme plant. I did not take it out of its sleeve yet, so I just got it. Anakin, stop eating my plants, please, before you get sick. Stop. Um. My violet, as you can see, it's starting to wilt, so that guy definitely needs water today. So I'll be doing that after I eat lunch, maybe even before. Um, I'm losing track. This is my Valentine's Day orchid. So many aerial roots, they're crazy. Um, it's a healthy looking plant. Doesn't have a new um, leaf spike yet, but that or a new leaf coming out yet, but that's all right. This violet. I think, yeah, this violet I just bought too. Um, this was an addition. So Lowe's had gotten a brand new shipment of violets in, and they looked much more full. Their blooms were really beautiful and vibrant. So I marked all the old ones down because they're not, people are not going to buy the old ones when the new ones look superior. You know, it's just the fact of life. So I marked the old ones down to a dollar. So I got this guy for a dollar, and I bought a saucer to go with it. This is my original mini Phalaenopsis orchid that I've talked about and raved about for God knows how long. I've told you about these dinky leaves down here, for, where for one it was growing in the basement in Buffalo. And then these bigger leaves started out in Wyoming uh, two years ago. And they're just continuing to be um, pretty superior leaves to the original ones. Um... I don't know if this guy's got a new root. It doesn't look like it, but that's okay. He actually needs water as well. The moss is crunchy. The roots are silver, so that's telling me he needs water. And he's not wilting just yet. He looks like he's starting maybe with this leaf. And I may use some leaf shine to shine him up a little bit. When you use that, you got to make sure that um, you don't like put too much on, I think, because it may burn the leaves, especially when they're put in the sun. Um, usually it doesn't, but you never know. This is my birthday orchid from my mom and my dad. Um, it's still got that little nub there, and I'm not entirely sure what that nub is trying to do. You can see some of the roots down here are still pretty green. Um, I think I watered him more recently. This is what I was talking about. See how he's mostly out of bloom? So this was another one that I marked down when the, new, the fresh shipment came in. Um, look at that. Pretty violet color. Um, so he was marked down, and I bought him for a dollar, too. Crown of Thorns is still... That's my microwave, if you can hear that beeping. I have chicken noodle soup in there that I'm trying to um, see if it's still good from the valve renewal in January. It was frozen, so I'm hoping it's still good. Um, so you can see the Crown of Thorns is really... In flower. I think this is a cool thing because it does these like double blooms where it'll get one bloom and then that bloom like blooms two blooms. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's just a happy looking plant. In fact, that looks like it needs some water too. Oh, we got some yellowing leaves going on. That's not good. Um, I better get water on that. They're not really wilting though. Too, too bad, but I better get water on that just in case. And then that's my original violet as well. Um, down here, eh, ta-da, got some new additions. So, 
This is the big orchid that I bought when I first started working at Lowe's, so I've had that since February 2nd. Um, these I bought a couple weeks ago, which I showed you in the last video. This aloe plant is actually from my dad's cousin. Now, he's got it in like a normal potting mix, which it necessarily shouldn't be in. Um, but that just means that I have to really, really, really make sure that this pot dries down in between waterings. And you can almost make it so that these leaves become pretty skinny. Um, like this one here is almost completely flat, uh, whereas these are still plump. So we're going to roll with it. And then Tudorcinos, which um, I'm not sure. This is Warnecki. This one here is Warnecki. So this was on clearances too, as well because you can see there's a little bit of overwatering going on. Um, a little bit of too dry going on. So I got him for, I think, $3. Yeah, but I got this one for $3. And then this guy was for a dollar. And this one needs soil added to him. This one is just kind of floppy. He doesn't have very good support, but I got him for a dollar. He was sitting at work for a while. Um, you can kind of see which leaves I've leaf shined. I only did a few. I did this one, this one, and you can kind of look at this one. You can see all these splotches of from dirt and dust and stuff. So that one's going to be need to be leaf shined as well. Um, I hope that I will get to do an outside video today as well. It'll be completely separate from this one because I don't want to overwhelm my phone with uploading the videos. Um, but there's some activity out in the yard that I really want to show. And I think today would be a good day. I can, you know, um, I could close the gate door, take Anakin out, let him kind of just do his thing. I did find the other day when I took him outside to go to the bathroom early, early in the morning when Sean went to work that, um, we had an opossum in the yard. Um, so maybe I shouldn't necessarily leave him off the leash. That could be a little scary, but, um... I want to show you the, um, the yard just so you can see what's going on and stuff. The weeds are completely out of control. We had to weed whack and all that stuff. Um, plus you got to see my, uh, my potatoes and I'm going to have to pull my lettuce and, um, I want to try and transplant my tomatoes. I got a husky red cherry tomato that I want to plant in where the lettuce was. So... That is that. I hope you enjoyed my newest houseplant video. And if you have any questions about any of the plants that I have, feel free to put it in the comments. Um, I do check my comments when I um, think to do so. Um, like, I'm not on YouTube all the time anymore. So uh, if you do comment and I don't answer you right away, have some patience with me because um, I'm forgetful. <laughs> uh, not that I don't value your comments and things. Um, I just want to be honest with the way I am. I forget to check YouTube. Um, but anyways, so let's end this video and then in a little while, hopefully I'll get you, I'll get outside and I'll get to make the new video so you can see what's going on out there. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around for a second. Until next time, stay green folks.